Sophia has found very little water. Uh, it's found individual molecules of water surviving on the sunlit surface of the moon. And if you were to gang up all those molecules of water, it would be about 12 ounces of water in a cubic meter of lunar soil. So a cubic meter is like 30 cubic feet. So that's a lot of dirt to, to mix in a 12 ounce bottle of water. So it, it's much drier than the driest desert on the earth. Scientifically, it's interesting because we weren't expecting water. We, we, we weren't guessing that water could survive in the sunlit part of the moon. Um, and so thinking about how did it get there and how did it survive is an interesting scientific question that tells us something about the history of the moon, might tell us about processes that take place on airless, other airless bodies in our solar system. You know, this water is, you know, much less concentrated than the water we think is in the icy deposits on the lunar uh, poles. And so the first place we'll try mining for water will be the lunar poles. Yes, accessibility and uh, availability will always be an issue. We don't know how to mine the water on the moon yet. That's why we're sending robotic instruments first to be followed by the first humans. The first humans will be doing science experiments to figure out how accessible the lunar water is. They won't be living off the water, the very first uh, explorers that, go, that return to the moon. And so the same team that made this discovery has proposed for additional observation with Sophia. They want to uh, understand two things. First of all, how widespread is this water? They only looked at a small part of the Earth-facing side of Sophia for their, their first observations, which were actually a test to see if this method would work. And it was spectacularly successful test. So now they want to look across the whole Earth-facing side of the moon to see if this water is everywhere. And secondly, they want to look at the moon at different phases. So that would be different sun angles on the surface of the moon to see if this water comes and goes, to see if it stays in the same place or whether it migrates across the face of the moon. So there's so many fundamental things about this water that we don't know that we just need, we only have one observation, one piece of data so far, and there's just so much more to learn.